danger, danger. Do do do, I love me. 경고해 거기서 멀어져야 해. Na 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 na. Hi guys, today I'm going to be sharing a theory that I have that shows how EXO and Red Velvet's music videos are connected. I've had a feeling that they were connected for a while now, but I wasn't quite certain as to how exactly the two piece together. Until now, that is. In anticipation for the release of the Reve Festival finale album, Red Velvet released a series of audio clips on Instagram, one corresponding to each of the tracks on the upcoming album. Here, Wendy narrates the story of the awakening of the robot Reeve. Reeve has been featured in the art design for Red Velvet's Red Mare concert, and was on the CD plates for the Day 1 and Day 2 mini-albums. From the way that the story is narrated, it seems like a fun tale of a robot getting to experience the joys of the world, especially through music. But some of the descriptions made me feel like it was a lot more sinister than it appeared. This is where EXO comes in. I actually made a video explaining EXO's universe, which might be helpful to watch, but I'll try to summarize here since it is pretty long. Basically, EXO are aliens that are trying to protect something called a tree of life, which granted them individual superpowers. In EXO's Mama music video, a force of evil called the Red Force is trying to harm it and take the powers for itself. So they split the heart of the Tree of Life in two and separate into similar planets in parallel worlds. Thus, the two original subgroups of EXO, EXO-M and EXO-K, are formed. The narration in the video states that when the two worlds align, meaning an eclipse occurs, then the legends will be reunited, the Red Force will be purified, and a new world should be formed. For EXO's fourth album repackage, EXO released a comic showing eight of the members on a mission to retrieve some object, but something goes wrong along the way. Going to EXO's power music video, EXO fights off an agent of the Red Forest called RFO5, who is trying to steal EXO's powers. Seven of the members lose their powers during the fight until Baekhyun finds a way to restore them. At the very end of the power music video, and at the end of the Power of Music comic strip, we see Baekhyun falling to Earth, almost drowning, as he realizes something has been off about their mission since the beginning. At the beginning of Power, the narration in that hints that the unpurified Red Force eventually takes over two suns and fills it with darkness. We see this prophecy being fulfilled in EXO's Obsession music video, but we'll get to that in a minute. At some point, EXO's members get trapped in a maze by the Red Force, as seen in Overdose. They are then brought to a lab where they are experimented on and possibly cloned, as shown in Lucky One. In Lucky One, EXO are finally able to escape from the Red Force's lab, but it's revealed that they were being monitored the whole time during their escape, meaning that the Red Force agents likely let them escape on purpose. In Obsession, EXO are fighting their evil clones XXO, who are created by the Red Force to steal their powers. We know that XXO wins in the end because in the very last scene of the music video, we see the world being o taken over by the Red Force, spreading darkness across the land, just like the power music video foreshadowed. So what does this have to do with Red Velvet? My guess is that Red Velvet have something to do with the Red Force, and may even be the Red Force itself. But why would Red Velvet do this? I feel like it has something to do with their desire to bring the robot Reeve into the world. Let's revisit the teasers for the Reve Festival finale. The narration transcription for these clips can also be found in the day and night version of the physical release of Red Velvet's finale album. In chapter 1, Wendy describes the sun and the moon approaching each other and holding on to each other. She then states that a white hole opens up, and from it, the robot Reeve emerges. Already we can notice how the storyline of this connects to EXO's universe. The description sounds a lot like an eclipse is taking place, which we've seen play an important role in many of EXO's music videos. In the next chapter, a voice calls out to Reeve, summoning her to a new world. 
Again, remember that EXO's mama video claimed that when the eclipse occurs to reunite EXO's members in battle against the Red Force, a new world would be created. In Chapter 3, Reeve sees a burning red sun as she sets off on an adventure through a new world to find the Reve Festival, which could represent the Red Force taking over the suns with darkness upon her arrival. Going back to EXO's power music video and comic, I think the reason why Baekhyun said there was something wrong in the end was because they were fighting the wrong robot. I think RF-05 was meant to be a decoy agent to distract EXO's members from realizing who the true enemy was, Reeve. EXO believes that RF-05 is their big enemy because it stole orbs related to EXO's powers, but it's really unable to do anything with them since it's never shown actually using their powers against them. This is because in order for the Red Force to actually be able to use these powers, it must obtain the heart of the Tree of Life. Again, going back to EXO's MAMA music video, the legends have to be reunited when an eclipse occurs to open the new world and restore the Tree of Life. Those circumstances were never met during the power music video, so it doesn't make sense that RF-05 would be the Red Force itself, since the ultimate goal is to get the Tree of Life. This is why I think RF-05 was sacrificed on purpose. It was meant to lose against EXO so that the members could temporarily be weakened, allowing the Red Force to single out members and clone them. The reason why the clones were necessary was to fulfill the narrator's prophecy in MAMA. Instead of 12 heroes being reunited during the eclipse, six of EXO's members are met with six of their clones trying to obtain their powers for good. This manipulation of the prophecy enables the new world to open, and while EXO are busy fighting their clones, Reeve is able to emerge and embrace the magic of the new world. She is then able to steal the heart of the Tree of Life, represented by the clones glowing towards the end of the Obsession music video. We see XXO win at the end of Obsession because Reeve is able to completely transfer EXO's powers to them using the Tree of Life. We even have a hint to this in the artwork for Reeve. Interestingly enough, if you look at the design for Reeve, you'll notice that she has a heart split in two in the middle of her body. This might be indicative of her desire to obtain the heart of the Tree of Life, which EXO had split in half during MAMA. But of course, I can't propose this theory without providing a more solid connection between EXO and Red Velvet's universes, so I want to break down some of the reasons why I think this theory is plausible, and explain some hidden connections between Red Velvet and EXO's music videos. For starters, I think the two are meant to be sibling groups. SM tends to debut a boy group and a girl group within a year or two of each other to form sibling groups, like SHINee and FX. It was never really blatantly stated whether EXO, Red Velvet, and NCT were meant to have sibling groups, since none of the three really promoted closely together as SM's previous sibling groups, but the reason why I feel like EXO and Red Velvet are meant to be siblings is because there are many parallels between their music videos. There are some aspects in which Red Velvet and EXO appear to be similar, but there are also some where they seem like complete opposites. For example, Red Velvet are known for their bright, bubbly summer anthems, while EXO are known for their slow, soulful winter ballads. These differences are further conveyed in the themes that their music video portrays. EXO are portrayed as the righteous heroes fighting evil to save the world, while Red Velvet are portrayed as cold-blooded murderers who are willing to kill anyone who gets in their way, even each other. Now, let's get into some of the parallels between their music videos. There are so many situations that demonstrate Red Velvet being in control versus EXO being controlled. In EXO's Lucky One music video, we've seen the members being monitored by agents of the Red Force. Even after EXO defeats the robots with their powers and escapes from the Red Force's lab, we see the woman continuing to watch the members on a screen. This indicates that although EXO thinks they've escaped, it was all part of the Red Force's plan to make them feel like they were in control 
while they're still being manipulated. In Rookie, we see Red Velvet's members watching over each other on screens and manipulating each other's decisions. At first, they're pitted against each other. However, as the Flower Man comes into the picture, they become focused on targeting him. I feel like this Flower Man is representative of EXO for several reasons. First of all, at the end of Rookie, Red Velvet is literally chasing the man in UFOs, indicating that, like EXO, he is some sort of alien. Additionally, we've seen imagery of flowers in EXO's music videos where it seemingly doesn't make much sense. For example, when EXO are robbing the bank in Love Shot, they only end up taking flowers with them at the end of the video. Also, flowers can be found on the set of Tempo despite the darkness and confinement of the area. Towards the end of Rookie, we see our final indication that Red Velvet is controlling EXO, when Irina is shown holding the puppet strings controlling the Flower Man. The Flower Man is under the illusion that he has power, but Red Velvet is the one who is really in control. I think that Red Velvet were able to produce the women who were watching over EXO and Lucky One by cloning them in a factory like in Dum Dum. In the music video for Dum Dum, we see Red Velvet creating clones of themselves in the factory, and later in Red Flavor, we see them interviewing these clones. While it's not explicitly revealed how EXO's clones are formed, we know that they exist. So, perhaps Red Velvet used the same method to create clones of EXO during Lucky One. Additionally, in Tempo, we see Chen interviewing Chanyul, which I think is actually their clones doing so since the set of Tempo keeps glitching. Also, certain props in Dum Dum look similar to those in Love Shot. For example, we see some sort of recording device behind the girls as they dance, and we see something similar behind Suho and Love Shot. Additionally, images of her rotary phone flash in the Dum Dum music video and in the Rookie music video, and Schumann is laying down next to a rotary phone in Love Shot. In Obsession, we see Chen playing a game of chess against his clone, with monitors observing in the background, displaying both of their actions on the screen. Certain shots of the board remind me of Red Velvet's Dum Dum music video. We see the pieces on the chessboard in similar positions. What's even more interesting is how the dance floor in RBB looks like a chessboard, indicating that all the girls are players in a real-life game of chess. Also, in Yeri's teaser for Psycho, we see her playing a game of chess with extremely large pieces, as she moves her king to knock out a pawn. In Really Bad Boy, we see Red Velvet being chased by a werewolf. Or so we think. We see the wolf hunting after Red Velvet, but although it closes its mouth over the members, they are ultimately seen dancing outside of its head, indicating that they are victorious in the end. This indicates that they let the wolf believe it was in control of them the whole time, but the girls were actually the ones who were truly hunting it. Russian Roulette also demonstrates this twist on a classic game of cat and mouse with its Tom and Jerry-esque cartoons. Instead of the cat being the one who chases the mouse, it's the mouse who causes harm to the cat in the end. Red Velvet is able to make EXO feel like they are the ones in control of their battles when they are secretly being manipulated. But if you want more proof that this is happening, check out the Skechers ad that EXO and Red Velvet did together. In the video, EXO are the ones pursuing Red Velvet, seemingly in control, until they realize that something is up with each of the girls. In Russian Roulette, Irene talks about a game you can't control. In the actual game, players have a 1 in 6 possibility of losing and being shot. Red Velvet has 5 members who are in control of the game, meaning that their 6th player, probably EXO, is destined to lose. In Obsession, we see Suho's clone's head split to reveal a glitching TV screen in place of his brain. In Red Velvet's Power Up, we see the girls approach a massive TV screen with similar colors, which leads them to a new world. 
The girls then pour a drink from the colors of the TV screen and use that to raise a new plant. This could represent their desire to gain control of the tree of life for themselves, and it might prove that they are controlling X, Exo, to do so. In Peekaboo, we see imagery of the warped time and space that Exo's Mama music video foreshadowed. Notice how fast the clouds are changing and how large the moon is throughout the whole video. Somehow, Red Velvet have found a way to make sense of this warped space and time to their advantage. It's implied that Red Velvet have killed numerous pizza boys before, but I don't think this is simply done for sport. I believe Red Velvet are practicing on those pizza delivery boys in order to create the perfect way to destroy Exo. We see a similar narrative structure between the elements in Peekaboo and the ones I've been describing in Exo and Red Velvet's music videos. The pizza boy starts off unaware of the danger he's in, realizes he's in trouble, falls into a sense of complacency when one of the girls attempts to help him escape, and is ultimately harmed in the end. This, yet again, shows how Red Velvet is able to make their victims feel like they are in control of their situation, when in reality, every action is being controlled by the girls. So, to summarize, here's how I think the story goes. Red Velvet are trying to obtain the heart of the Tree of Life that granted Exo their powers. So, to prevent them from doing so, Exo splits the tree's heart and creates separate but parallel universes. While space and time is warped due to the separation of Exo's members, Red Velvet perfect their plan to obtain the heart of the Tree of Life. They use the robot RF-05 to steal Exo's powers, but don't intend to keep them for good. Since the power transfer can't be completed without the eclipse taking place, which would reveal the Tree of Life. Instead, they use this to single out Exo's members and clone them individually. Exo realizes something is wrong and are able to escape from the lab, but it's too late. Red Velvet allows them to escape, since they need Exo to be on the parallel planet in order for the new world to open up and for them to be able to steal the heart of the Tree of Life. They then manipulate the prophecy so that instead of 12 EXO members being present to unlock access to the new world and the Tree of Life, only six members and their clones are needed. While EXO is distracted in battle, Reeve is able to emerge from the new world and steal the heart of the Tree of Life, enabling XXO to steal EXO's powers once and for all. Of course, this is all completely speculation, but I think it would be really cool if the two universes happen to be connected in this way. After all, at least we know for certain that Red Velvet is completely single. <laughs>